Welcome back. Now, before we continue adding any more code into the Hyperion project, we need to stop everything for just a second and present a warning. Up to this point, we've been taking the time to do a lot of whiteboarding just to introduce some very basic concepts in regards to structure for our skeleton of the application. We've got the skeleton in place. At this point, you should have a very loose idea in your mind about objects, variables, the static keyword, public, private, properties, very rough idea of what a method is and what its structure looks like, and arguments and parameters. Again, very lightly. And if you're hearing this and you're going, no, no I, I have no clue about any of that stuff, that's okay. Again, we're going into deep lectures on all of these different things. The whole idea of the Hyperion Project is to introduce you to what it's like to write a basic game. Now it is time for us to start adding the meat to our skeleton so that we have a fully playable game. At this point, we're going to have to stop with the whiteboarding because, well, if we whiteboard every single thing out to the very end now, what's going to happen is we're going to have 50 hours of lecture and you're going to understand C Sharp when we get to the end. And that is not the goal of our first project. It is, again, just to give you an experience, if you will. So at this point, relax, breathe. Kick back, watch what we're doing very, very carefully. We are going to build our solution often as we get done with each of our methods. We'll try to build right then just so that we don't get too far away from any possible syntax errors that we introduce into our code because we accidentally type a wrong case letter or forget a symbol or something like that. I encourage you to continue following along and seeing if you can get up a fully functional game when we get to the end and you get to the end as well. Now, as we go through each line of code that we're going to add into the classes, we are going to talk about what is going on. Some of this is going to appear very cryptic to you. That's okay, because by the end of this class, you guys are going to completely understand everything you're seeing. In fact, you'll be able to come back to these videos and laugh and think, wow, yeah, that is really a basic application. But this is where the fun starts. It's time to add the meat in. So again, remember, just breathe, relax, and have faith in us. We know what we're doing. We're taking you to a really cool spot, and things are going to get a little scary, but it's okay. Just Follow us and compile often, build often, make sure you have no syntax errors introduced into your code. So with that out of the way, go ahead and move on to the next video where we're going to start adding the meat into our classes.